devil is a liar and there's nothing that he can do to put the people of God down. Amen. Amen. Raise up your two hands unto the Lord. Say this words after me. I'm a champion. I'm a child of God. I'm moving forward. I will never retreat. Jesus is my foundation. Jesus is my brother. The Holy Spirit is my comforter. God is my father. This is a new day. This is a new month. This is a new year. I'm an overcomer. I'm not a victim. I'm a victor. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. How many of you believe in miracles? Praise the Lord. Whatever problem you have brought into this house, Jehovah God is going to make sure that you get out from this auditorium as a changed person. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, the church of God is the most powerful force on the face of this earth. But sometimes Christians, we don't even know who we are. We don't know the one who is behind us. We don't know our foundation. But when Jesus died, I tell you, beloved, he arose. <laughs> Give him a hand. Praise God. See, I have grown to a level that I am not going to allow anything to put me down. Anything to discourage me. It doesn't mount, matter how, how higher the mountains will be. I believe that my God, he has the ability to raise me up to fly over it. So this morning, you are going to fly over your mountains. And every valley that the enemy has you know, widened to put you in is going to be leveled. Every valley is going to be leveled. Every mountain is going to be leveled because Jesus is your bridge. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. We're going to sing one song. Amen. Amen. To warm ourselves, then the message will come. I wasn't here when um, the praise and worship went on. So I don't even know the song that you sang. But I believe that you sang good songs. Amen. Because you are beautiful people and you are anointed people. Amen. We're going to sing a song that says, It is raining all around me. I can feel it. The letter rain. Hallelujah. See, when Jesus was about to go home to heaven, he told the disciples, Don't you go to anywhere, but stay at the upper room until you are endued with what power from on high and they waited the first day the second day the third day the, the sixth day the, the ninth day on the third day the power of god fell hallelujah and from that time their lives were transformed peter who was fearful because of the later rain that fell upon him he was able to face the sadducees and the pharisees squarely that it is better to worship god than men amen this morning i'm preaching to two audience we have those who are in this auditorium and those who are at home i want to prophesy to you as you are watching this telecast your life is not going to be the same hallelujah because jesus is the same yesterday today and forever praise the lord so don't you say that well i'm not in the church so i'm not going to be blessed sit down in your couch get your notebooks get your pencils get your bible and and, and, and get ready to receive from above because this message that is going to come this morning is fresh from on high and it's going to bring deliverance to you oh praise the lord hallelujah amen it is raining all around me i want to see you dancing i want to see you dancing I want to see you jump in. That's the light of rain, rain. Oh, uh, right now Jesus give us more rain, rain, rain. Until we are, rain, and we are so. Hey, it is raining. It is raining all around me. I can feel it. Oh, the Lord I want to see you dance. Oh, more rain, rain. we are filled and we are so. 
It is raining. It is raining. All around me, I can feel it. That I will Jesus. It is raining, it is raining, all around me, I can feel it, oh the latter rain, 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 until we are filled. In the latter room, there I go. Hallelujah! Put your hands together. Now to the glory of God. Oh, and to be a faithful and we are so in the latter room. It is raining. It is raining. All around me. I can feel it, the latter rain. Oh, Rather, Jesus, they give us more rain, more rain, more rain, more rain, until we have been filled and we are so in the latter rain. It is raining. Oh, it's a ready matter. For the Lord is all that word It's already better It's already better I am the Lord That he led I am the Lord Your he healer I sent my word in your disease, I am the Lord, your heal. I am the Lord, I am the Lord, Hebo Sataya, God healed me. I am the Lord. chapter 8 verse 17 through 22 this is where I started off last week and I'm going to continue on from where I left last week Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 17 through 22 for behold I will send serpents concretizes among you which will not be charmed and they shall bite you saith the lord <laughs> when i would comfort myself against sorrow my heart is faint in me behold the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people because of them that dwell in a far country is not the lord in zion is not her king in her why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images and with strange vanities? The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. For the head of the daughter of my people, I'm hurt. I'm black. Astonished. Have taken hold on me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? 
Amen. Amen. See, last week when we, 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 we met, I elaborated much on this um, few verses that I just read. See, ne, 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 Jeremiah was, was a weeping prophet. That gentleman always cried and cried and cried. Why? Because of the sinfulness of the nation Israel. Because of their stubbornness. Because of their idol worship. Because of the bad things that they did. And as such, the Lord departed from them. His anointing was no more there. And the people started to get sick. And always the troubles were increasing and increasing and increasing. And this is what he told the people. Then why are my people suffering? Don't we have a God in the Bronx? Don't we have a God in New York City? Don't we have a God in America? We don't, I don't even know where these, these, the, 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 the doctors and the scientists get all these names for all these sicknesses. Many sicknesses and many names are given to, to, to all these sicknesses. Thank God for all these doctors. But I tell you, these doctors, it comes to a time that certain sicknesses and diseases that they face, they find it difficult to cure them. They will tell you this, this, this sickness, it is only God who can do it. And I want to prophesy to you that whatever sickness, whatever impediment, that the enemy has put in your life. God is more than able to heal you. Be it blindness. If you are in a wheelchair, don't be happy. about stay in a wheelchair. There is a way out. Hallelujah. And you might be sitting here right now. You'll be giving all your money to all these physicians. It might be your waist. It might be your ears. It might be your hand. It might be anything within you. That the enemy is just troubling you to feed your money upon. The Lord wants you to use that money to buy good clothes. The Lord wants you to enjoy that money. Not to give all this money to the, de to, to the devil. But first of all, I want us to know some causes of sicknesses. Then after that, we will demonstrate the power of God in this house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. See, in the early 80s, we had a crusade with Kenneth Copeland in Africa and Archbishop Benson in Ahosa. May his soul rest in peace. Benson in Ahosa is my daddy. It's Benson in Ahosa who trained me. What am I today? It is Benson in Ahosa who made me to be what am I today. And we had a crusade for Reverend Ayo. Ayo is a great man of God. May the Lord bless him. In a city called Wari, Nigeria, Thousands of people were there. And we, we were using a very big generator that can cover, you know, a whole city. And all of a sudden, during the course of the administration, the generator went off. Look, thousands of people, and the whole place was dark. So people started to go home. It was very, very discouraging. See, any time that a miracle is born, the enemy tries to come in to eat it up. Even this morning, those of you who have spiritual eyes, you will sense what we are experiencing. But the devil is a liar. The gospel will be preached. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden, the lights went up. The generator stopped working. And people started to go home. I was discouraged. Basically, the horse loved me so much. Anywhere that he went to preach, in, when we were at the Bible school, I have to go with him. I traveled with the Hosa many times with Reverend James Sir and Charles Ajiasari. Anytime the Hosa is preaching, I will be under the platform and interceding for him. Hallelujah. We went to this crusade. And I was standing with a certain lady. I didn't see the lady coming with a child. And as people started to go, the lady started to cry. My child, my child, my child, my child. Not knowing that this lady's child was a cripple. And when Kenneth Copeland was ministering, the very moment that the light went off, that child started to walk. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Okay? So as the, said, as the child started to walk in, the child got lost. The child was crawling. And because of the crowd, he was in front of the mom. 
And because of the darkness, the child just disappeared. And uh, the, the, the engineers worked on the, um, the generator. Hallelujah. So the generator came back. And when the generator came back, functioning very well, we saw the child walking. And the mother was very happy. It was a miracle. Hallelujah. And if you look to the knees of the child, you could see that, yes, this child has crawled on the ground for so long a time. With feeble knees, got straightened, and the child started to walk. All right? That was the very first time that I saw a creative miracle with my own eyes. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, I was very skeptical about the so-called charismatic and the so-called Pentecostal. Pentecostalism, I didn't like it. Clapping of hands, no. The shouting and the jumping and the screaming, I hated it. Because that was not how I was brought up. In my church that I was brought up, that I went with my mom, it was quiet, peacefully, no noise, nothing. So if I see people shouting and screaming, I get mad at them. I call them people of demons. And when they begin to speak in tongues, whoa, they have, <laughs> you know? And you know what? As the child started to walk, and the woman started to jubilate, and all of us saw the miracle. People who were in their cars were about to leave. People who were just going home. They all ran back. Hallelujah. And revival broke. And since that time till today, my life has never been the same. I went back to my country after graduation. I also went to hold a crusade. Praise the Lord. There was a woman who was dead. They brought her to my ministry, to my uh, crusade. And we started to pray for her. Beloved, it was terrible. I've shared this before. The very first time that I saw the woman, I was scared. Because our, our eyes were watching. That was the end of the crusade. I challenged people to come out with the diseases and sicknesses. But the sicknesses that came were just little, little ones. And when everything was over, they brought this lady who was dead. It was terrible. I was afraid. But the Lord strengthened me. Hallelujah. And I laid my hands upon the lady. No, in the beginning, I raised her up. Then she fell. So I, I, I was led by the Spirit of God to carry her from the people. So I took her from the people to a place that nobody was there. It was myself and the woman alone. And I faced her to the wall. And I told that dead body in my language that Enewubekasa. Hallelujah. Which means today you are going to speak. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I lay hands on this woman. And all of a sudden her eyes were opened. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From there, Pastor Sami, who came here the other time, was there. My son, Pastor Sami. He was only in full time ministry. And since that time that Pastor Sami saw the dead body coming back to life, he didn't work again. He said, from today, I will preach the gospel. And from that time till today, and Pastor Eric's wife in Italy, a few years, two was there. From that time till today, they've never worked for nobody preaching the gospel. Hallelujah. Yeah. Beloved, we are serving a living God. Whatever is dead in your family, Hallelujah. It can be business. It can be marriage. It can be career. It can be anything. God has the ability to revive it. See, the reason why the church of God is not experiencing revival is that Christians are living in a movement. We are stagnant. You know, we feel that we have arrived. We don't feel like pressing on into the deeper things of God. And as such, the church is dead and the church is in trouble but thanks be to god for bringing us back the holy spirit praise the lord hallelujah so if you will believe in this message that is coming it can be multiple kerosis it can be authorizers it can be asthma it can be AIDS. it can be you know your one of your eyes that is off let me tell you something we also went to ibadan in nigeria to hold the crusade 
with basing the hosa. God is my witness. Muslims, Muslims just came to listen to the gospel with all their Muslim attire, with all their hearts. There was a guy whose eyes was just inside, inside, off, with only one eye. And as the man of God was preaching, powerfully, that Muslim took off his thing on his head. And he said, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Instantly, his eyes came back. Thank God for these doctors, okay? Thank God for these nurses. Thank God for the pharmacists. You are doing great. But we have a God who is more powerful than when everything goes above your human scope. He comes in to settle the issue. The miracle will settle the issue. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe in miracles. Thank God for Captain Kuma. Thank God for Ora Robert. Thank God for Basie the Hosa. Thank God for Ora Monkey. Hallelujah. I don't even feel like going on in the message. I just want to give you testimonies about what God is doing. Back home in Africa, we also had a crusade with Rahan Monkey. My goodness. About 200,000 people were at the crusade every night. That is when we see people coming out from their wheelchairs. Listen. Some people, when they are sick, they accept it. And they say, oh, yes. It is the Lord's will that I sit in this wheelchair. Some people also, they prefer to be in the wheelchair all the days of their life so that they will receive the insurance. Listen, 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 listen. The best insurance that I know is the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't let the enemy intimidate you. As you are listening to this telecast, I have come to this home as a prophet of God. Hallelujah. To bind every demonic activity in you. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. As he healed the people of old, he's more than able to heal you today. So get up from that wheelchair. I have seen people coming up from wheelchairs. I've seen dead bodies being raised up. I've seen crooked legs be straightened. I've seen eyes that were not there coming back. Hallelujah. He is a miracle working God. He never dies. He's an all powerful God. If only you will believe in Him. I want to challenge you today that whatever the impediment, whatever the enemy has put in your life, at the end of this message, it will be gone. If only you will believe. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Church, we are serving a living God. We are serving a powerful God. Hallelujah. I, 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 I thank God for my life. I was 50 years old last week. I'm a healthy man. I've never lost any tooth. Praise the Lord. Ask my wife, cold can never catch me. Cold. I don't even know the last time that I catch cold. I caught cold. Sometimes to, to tackle my wife. I said, not me. Not me. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, I can bend down. I can raise up my foot like this. I can do like this. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. See? Amen. And I'm a strong. I can box. I'm very strong. I purposely said <laughs> leg boxing for self-defense when I wasn't saved. But it came to a time that I, I hand the gloves. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, the, 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 the best physician that I'm introducing to you today is Jesus. Hallelujah. You can be 100 years old and you can run 100 meters. Hallelujah. You can join the marathon in our morning devotion. Here in the morning, in the morning when we pray every 5 o'clock, we have one of our mothers, an elderly woman, Mother Morgan. When we are praying, Mother Morgan will get up and she will say, Pastor, excuse me. Then I say, Mom, what, what, do you, what, what are you up to? She says, Pastor, I want to run. I want to run. Hallelujah. And this elderly woman will be running from the door to the pulpit. Very, very strong. And when she's coming to board the car in the morning, she runs into the car. Listen, you are not going to die, but you are going to live to the, the whole council of God. Because every spare part of you is in God. Hallelujah. If God be for you, who can be against you? No demon, no power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
He is our healer. He is our mentor. He is our defense. And if this God becomes your defense, who is that stupid devil to stand before you? What are your troubles this morning? What is troubling you? Any sickness that the enemy has put on you is going to be gone today in the name of Jesus. You know, but there are certain things that bring sicknesses. And that is sin. What? Sin. What? Sin. When, when you read Revelation chapter 12, verse 4, when you have time, go ahead, go, you read it. See, when the devil, Lucifer, tried to overpower God or to keep God away, the Lord brought him down, okay? And when he was coming down, the Bible says he came down with one third of the angels in heaven. That is what the devil did. He came down with what? One third of the angels so that he will fight back. And when he came, he tried to use all his techniques to put man into sin. So he tried to win Eve and Adam. So as he was able to win Adam and Eve, they sinned. And because of that, sicknesses and diseases and infirmities had the opportunity to come to man.